here so far what I have is just a simple collage it actually is something I just had in um, I must have did from a demo from like a workshop a long time ago but um, similar kind of papers okay um, and this is that 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 paper that you saw that had the the cut edge um, and just so you know because um, I wanted to throw down some colors to see what I wanted to pull out for you know, for my palette for tonight, but this paper actually comes, that's just painted right there. So that comes all the way like down into her eye and up into here of doing that. So what I'm trying to do here and acrylics, it's really important that even though I know that's darker, I'm just trying to build up the area. It's going to take coats in order to do that. So for me, it's not just about um, putting something down and I'm going to leave that part open because if I don't I'm gonna I, I you know I, I'll have that extra so I've got an edge that's like literally right there actually you know what I'm gonna go right into this because even at whatever I put down for my accents I can have it's even better if I have color underneath it so, like I said, with acrylic, you'd really have to kind of build it up. It's going to be a, uh, he's going to be a brown metallic. So, and it's almost like a brown metallic that has some red to it. Can you see? Yeah. And then when that's dry, I'm going to go move to the black. You got to look at it from all kinds of different angles because there might be these little things you got to fill in and you got to check those so uh getting back to the tones so you've got warms and cools and so if you've got warm shadows okay um then you're going to have more than likely um you know, cool highlights. And so for me, color always transitions. So I, what I think I'm going to be going into these more neutral tones that'll have more blues with those brown neutrals. And then as she gets to like around here, I think I'm going to get into like play off the blues and the oranges and get into the reds and get those uh, lip stuff coming out. I used to, when I was younger, um, paint things where everything had a section, you know what I mean? Like I would have, you know, done all the little details, like everything's white. And I think what I'm, I, I do now more is I just paint it and then whatever I'm going to put on top, I'll just kind of put on top. I, and, and I think I like that better because then I'm dealing with the background relating better with the subject then trying to paint and then make the colors fit after that. That's harder, I think, if that makes any sense. And then I'm going to put black on here because I wanted to see where these details and let these guys dry. And then I'll jump to another area. So it alleviates me. And then if you ever get like little areas, like I got a little area there, I use this like all the time, toothpicks, and I just clean them up. <laughs> and it's like he had me at red. I mean, the pigment load was like just awesome. So I'm gonna go in, cause I, I think that a lot of this right here just needs to be dark, okay? So I'm gonna go in and, you know, just kind of put in that mark. And so these will dry. Wow, that looks really interesting online. It looks like you can see red underneath. Um, but on mine, you can't. So I'm going to just pull that down because that's got to be something there. Hmm. Oops. Try not to hurt my camera. I'm also thinking this could be black too. But it'll really depend on what I'm doing. I might just do that with a brush stroke. But this will also be black. So I want to make sure that when I'm putting something down, because it'll be silver and then it'll be black, that I'm relating to the fact that that's going to get pretty black too. Okay, so 
this and I'm getting all over myself. I'm thinking like right around here. So I'll just let it kind of dribble. All right, down the edge there. And that's where you, you kind of can get a paper towel. And I might have to do this again, you know. Um, come on. I got some air stuck in there. Just to get it a different, go down a different track. Yeah, I'm just got, got a little bit of air here. Hmm there. That's cool, right? There. So you can kind of catch it at the end. Um, but do you see how that like color, you know what I mean? It starts to, to, to bring out some colors that are over here, like in a cool way. There. Well, just that there there so we now we have a little more. and this you know of course right now it's just really picking up the light but it'll calm down you know and again it's just about build you know building it up building it up and going back I'm probably going to have to go back with uh this with you know some maybe even add in a little bit of medium in there um to kind of get it to have its its presence a little a little stronger um but it gives it it you know like but that's what something I felt like I needed because you know if you've got something happening on one side it's inter interesting to happen on the other side so I gotta still get this guy to just and that might be just too metallic and if I don't like it I'll just take it out I'll use a little talent knife Okay, well, that was kind of cool. So now that transitioned that section. So now she's got some kind of interesting transition, and acrylics will shrink. Okay, so when, um, even though this is a lot higher, whoops, right now, that'll actually shrink down. Um, acrylics always shrink a certain percentage. So just so you know, there. And then I can take this and just kind of go, see, I can remove anything that I want. And then I think I'm just feeling something here. You know, maybe around in here. And of course it'll have to be covered up later. Then, yeah, so this can be the beginning of like maybe her collar, right? And then that's dry. So she had a collar. And I can see myself taking some of that greens out of there too. And of course, you know, you'll get some reference later and add some of those things. So for right now, we will need some darker tones and I'll see how that dries, but that'll start to activate some areas in our collar. And then let's see, I wanna get back some of these guys back here.
Hold on to this. So she'll have some activation in her little eyes. 